This video is for you if you're a coffee lover and you'd love to make a great cup of coffee at home but you don't have an espresso machine. I am a barista but today I'm making this video at home so that I can be able to show you one of the coffee makers that are found to be very useful when it comes to making coffee at home. This was one of the challenge that I face as a barista because most of the times I have my coffee at a coffee shop where I work but at home I end up not having coffee because I don't have an espresso machine at home and it's costly so I decided to try the different coffee maker and this is my perfect choice of coffee maker. It's not very expensive it costs 36 US dollars and this is an Aeropress coffee maker one of the amazing coffee makers that you're going to need at home to make a great cup of coffee you can make a strong cup of coffee which is similar to an espresso which is very intense and very strong and you can make a black coffee using an Aeropress or you can just make a normal coffee and add ice into it to make your favorite iced coffee so we're going to start with the basic parts of the Aeropress. It has three parts. It has the lid, it has the chamber, and it has the plunge. The plunge fits inside the chamber. Then you're going to need a micro paper filter, which fits inside the lid. So we just fit in, and this is how you can brew it. You can brew it the standard version where it's just like this. Or you can use the inverted where you can just pour in your coffee grind pour the hot water then after brewing you're going to need to flip it so that you can press it on any container or vessel that you're going to need to make your coffee in so that you can make a great cup of coffee the first thing that we're going to need to consider when making our coffee using the aeropress is the strength of our coffee and this is going to be determined with the coffee brew ratios a coffee brew ratio is the amount of water that you add in the amount of coffee grinds to make your cup of coffee so the more water you add into your coffee grinds it's going to result into a lighter cup of coffee and the less water you add into your coffee grinds it's going to give you a stronger cup of coffee standard ratio of making an aeropress is a 1 to 10 so use 20 grams of medium to fine grinded coffee then I add 200 ml of water into our coffee grinds so that I can make a standard ratio of making an aeropress since we want to add just the strength of our coffee we use 20 grams as our standard grams when we are using our aeropress but we're going to reduce the water we're going to be adding 40 ml of water into our aeropress so that we can result into something similar to that of an espresso but keep in mind espresso is different because espresso is made using an espresso machine where pressure goes through the coffee bed to make a shot of espresso the recipe we are using to make using an aeropress is just something similar to an espresso but it's not a perfect shot of espresso so let me show you how i make this shot of espresso using the aeropress coffee maker i'll start by weighing the coffee beans that i'm going to use which is 20 grams i grind it on a medium to fine grind size after grinding then i'm going to prepare my aeropress i'm going to use the inverted way of making coffee using the aeropress add the 20 grams of coffee beans into our aeropress then add the 40 ml of water into the aeropress chamber all at the same time then we're going to wait until 30 seconds which is our brewing period after we're going to stir it evenly this is going to help to mix up the coffee beans with the water and also to create the strength into our coffee after evenly mixing we're going to wait until one minute we're going to pre-wet our paper filter then cover our aeropress we're going to leave it until two minutes at two minutes we're going to flip our aeropress then start pressing until two and a half minutes until all the coffee is finished from the coffee chamber this is our shot of espresso using the aeropress coffee maker it's strong and it tastes it has a little bit of creamer as you can see this is an easy way that you can make a great shot of coffee which is similar to a shot of espresso which is strong and it tastes so you can try it and enjoy it 
So let's make our iced coffee. Here is a simple trick that you must know if you're going to make your iced coffee using the AeroPress coffee maker. We're going to reduce the water that we add into our AeroPress. We used the 20 grams of grenade coffee beans, 100 ml of water, then 100 ml of milk. So let me show you how I make this iced coffee using the AeroPress coffee maker. I start by weighing 20 grams of coffee beans, grind it on a medium to fine grind size, then prepare the AeroPress coffee maker. I love using the inverted way of brewing using the AeroPress. This is my favorite. Add the grinded coffee beans into the AeroPress chamber, level it very well, shake it a bit to level it, then add 50 ml of water into the AeroPress. Wait until 30 seconds, then evenly stir it so that every coffee grains can be well mixed with the water. Then add the remaining 50 ml into our AeroPress chamber. Then wait until one minute. As you're waiting for the coffee brewing, you can pre-wet the paper filter. At one minute and uh, 30 seconds, cover our AeroPress chamber. At 2 minutes, you're going to flip our AeroPress, then start pressing the AeroPress so that you can extract all the coffee from the AeroPress chamber. You're going to need to press it until 2.5 minutes, until all the coffee is finished from the coffee chamber. So after pressing all the coffee out of the AeroPress chamber, then next we're going to add ice cubes into our black coffee that we've made you can enjoy it as an iced black coffee if you're someone who doesn't like milk into your coffee it's also a refreshing iced coffee if not you can just add milk on top of it to make your favorite ice latte Mix it evenly, then you can add a sugar syrup or a vanilla syrup so that you can make other variety of iced coffee using the AeroPress coffee maker. By following these simple steps, you can make a great cup of coffee at home using an AeroPress. But my biggest advice I would give to any person who wants to make a great cup of coffee is to understand the different brew ratios when you're making your coffee because it will determine the taste of your coffee it's very important even when you're using other coffee makers this is why you should watch this video next because it's a full guide i've made explaining to you the different brew ratios that i recommended for the different coffee makers so that you can achieve the perfect taste of your cup of coffee